Hello. So I'm sure the global pandemic COVID-19 has impacted everyone's lives somehow. Today, we wanted to show you how students' lives on campus has changed. First, this is the cafeteria, opened for students who are still on campus. As you can see, the cafe has closed all its sit-in areas and only serves food takeout style. On the floor, there are tapes six feet apart to ensure social distancing. The CAF workers all wear gloves to ensure handling the foods safely. There's a, there's a problem with flow in the CAF. You go and you order your food and then you wait in the same place that people are ordering their food and it doesn't really work with social distancing that well. Um, people still social distance as much as they can, but it's a lot harder when you're surrounded by like 30 people all looking at two chefs working and they're under a lot of stress and they're doing everything they can to make sure that the food's good. But that's been a little difficult to just go in, spend a lot of time in line. And then when you're there, you have to like quick look at what they're offering and then order. Um, so I think it, it, there's, there's definitely better ways that it could be done. Um, but thankfully everybody's like really happy and happy with what the, the food they're getting and the food they're providing. So everybody's really understanding, so that's nice. Next, let's look at how the mailroom has changed. The counter has been shielded by a plastic barrier and we receive and send out packages from the other side. The students remaining on campus have expressed their inconvenience at all the buildings closing down. Without any study spaces open, including Founders Lab and the library, students have no other choice but to study in their own dorms. The gym facility has also closed. Taylor Lounge is being missed by many. So what I liked about the gizmo is like we all sat, me and my friends, we sat together. I'm studying, they're studying, and we would take like small breaks in the middle and just talk to our, uh, each other. It would be fun, like small breaks, like you could get food anytime you want. And your focus wouldn't be like shifting from one thing to the other because and when we had a lot of activities going on when the campus was on, I think uh, time management was easier because Google Calendar was my best friend. And right now I'm just like studying all the time and still it feels a lot. I don't know how that works exactly, but I miss studying in the gizmo. I really like the vibe, like everybody came in, said hi. So it was really nice. And right now I'm just stuck in these four walls and I have to study on my desk. I think I sit on my desk for straight up 10 hours and do my work because I need to eat here as well, which I miss about the gap. Uh, it's become a lot more isolated, kind of by design. Um, I just kind of stay in my room and work and then make sure I walk around at least like once a day to get some vitamin D. Yeah. But yeah, that's... And then sometimes I try and throw a frisbee with other people, but um, it's never with like new people that I've never met before because then that would be cross-contamination of communities. So anybody that I would be throwing frisbee with like before the quarantine, then that keeps going and then we sanitize the frisbee whenever we play as well. So yeah, trying to stay active, but it's a lot harder now that quarantine's happening, but yeah.